What is up y'all? Andy Kruger here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to increase your dog's food drive. One of the most common questions I get on my videos is, but Andy, what if the dog isn't food motivated? Stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna tell you the three reasons and only three reasons why your dog is not food motivated. But first, the fun stuff. I'm here with my girl Ramona who's going to help me demonstrate. Now she is a very food motivated dog because of her training and her lifestyle. Nonetheless though, this is going to apply to a dog with any level of food drive. Notice the food. That's the good stuff. Ramona's on a raw diet, but your dog doesn't have to be on a raw diet to do this. You could absolutely do it with kibble, but let me give you a little tip. A dog that eats process kibble every day, multiple times a day, week after week, month after month, year after year. It's not gonna be as special to them. It's not gonna be as motivating. It's great if it is, but if it isn't, you can still feed that kibble and supplement with some raw. Make the value high. Type into Google raw dog food companies and then your zip code and you'll have hundreds of options that come up but this is a terrific option to boost that food drive nothing weirder than watching someone put on a rubber glove right let's go i'm going to show you a couple of options restraint is the key restraint it causes frustration which creates even more motivation for the dog to get to what you have Oh yeah, yeah, get you a little handful. Show the dog the food. Let him lick it a little bit. Licky, licky. Oh yeah. Ready? Left arm. Yes. I'm making the dog fight for the food. I'm not just delivering room service. Ding, here you go puppy, eat the food. We wanna make them work for it, restrain them, tease them a little bit, up that drive. Yes. Good girl, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Good girl. A common problem I see when people attempt to use food to train, they have a goal in mind that isn't building food drive. They say, okay, I'm gonna use food to train, heal, sit, down, stay, calm. But what they haven't done is many sessions where the only goal is to make the dog driven for the food. Forget about obedience, build the drive first. Yes. Does this look like fun for the dog or what? Let's go. Yes. 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 Ah. Make the dog fight for it. You think if you do this a handful of times, then you pull out the dog and you have this food, they're gonna click right into this mindset? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Now we're gonna do a variation of this same exercise with a harness. If you haven't seen one of my previous videos, best way to exercise your dog using a harness, check that out. It's all connected. Bowl number one, bowl number two. Harness. She's crazy. She's crazy. Whoops. Dink. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Tell her yes. I let her get real close to it. I pull her back. Tell her yes again. Just close enough. Pull her back. This is the first time Ramona's seeing this actual exercise. So you see a little bit of, wait, I'm not supposed to go for it. So you got to teach the dog, hey, hey, this is no rules. It's totally okay to be crazy, nutso, and pull with everything you got. Don't worry about obedience. Are you ready? Are you ready, baby? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Oh, good girl. Yes, 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 yes. You ever watch a trainer play tug with their dog? They present the tug, the dog goes to bite it, and at the very last minute, they pull it away and make them miss. This is the equivalent with food. This boosts the dog's drive. Think about a dog chasing prey, a rabbit. Dog's coming up on the rabbit, snap, almost grabs the rabbit but the rabbit escapes by an inch this is going to get the dog frustrated and even more motivated to keep chasing that rabbit same concept reload <laughs> here it is here's the good stuff here's the good stuff here's the good stuff oh, oh yeah where is it where is it? Yes! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes! Oh, yes! It's a girl! We're playing! We're training! Building motivation! Food drive! Ooh, 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 ooh. Simple, basic. This exercise requires you to get your hands dirty a little bit. Literally, you gotta get down there with the dog. You gotta play with them, frustrate them, motivate them. Sure, it would be nice if you could just pull out one piece of kibble anywhere, anytime, and your dog was just laser focused, but it's usually not that easy. You gotta put in the work outside of those situations, and these few variations of this exercise is a great way to do it. Raw food, try it, do it. Your dog's brain might, that's what you want. Yeah, whoa, she's crazy, she's crazy. This is fun, this is fun, yeah. At the beginning of this video, I said I would tell you the only three reasons why a dog would not be food motivated. Check this out, reason number one, why your dog will not take food. They are experiencing extreme fear and extreme stress. Tail tucked, whining, crying, shaking, trying to hide in the corner. It would have to be a pretty extreme state of mind for your dog to not wanna take food. Reason number two, your dog has a medical issue. Your dog has ingested a foreign object and has a blockage your dog has some sort of a growth, something that needs medical attention, that could absolutely be a reason why your dog will not eat. And reason number three, finally, the biggest reason why a dog is not food motivated is because they are overfed slash overweight. And I can already hear it in the comments. No, they're not, Andy. This is what the bag said. My vet said this. Her, her parents were 500 pounds each. I'm telling you guys, 
if your dog is healthy and not scared out of their mind and they don't want to take food, they are simply telling you, I am not hungry. That means they get too much every single day. Process kibble, I'm not saying, some brands are pretty good, but when the dog eats that every day, multiple times a day, every month, every year, too much, it's not gonna be motivating to them. So you could absolutely put them on a diet, which you absolutely should. Do that in tandem with these exercises, with the high value reward, you should have a different dog. Thanks y'all for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, helps out a lot. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. If you wanna to learn to be a dog trainer, if you wanna see all the behind the scenes, unedited, fully broken down training sessions, that's the place for you. Until next time, happy training. What's up Patreon crew? Today's video, I'm gonna work on change of positions. You wanna teach your dog to stand up from a sitting position. She's in a nice sit, food's in my hand. I'm gonna go right underneath her chin. When her rear end pops up, I'm gonna pay her. Yes. Food, right here, underneath. Oh yeah. Those are the mechanics. You don't want your dog to learn a stand coming forward. You don't want this. If they change positions and take a step forward every time, it's no good. You never told them to come forward. You just told them to change position. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about.